Ramp is open. He looks. He shoots. Denied. Hey, that's not trash. That's recycling. I thought it all went away in the trash. But where is a way? Back in the old days, we used to throw everything into the trash. As long as it went away, nobody cared. I care. I care. I care. I care. I care. I'm Jake Bondalindi, Dean of Students at uh, Parkview Center School, and um, part of our green team recycling program. Ramsey County wrote a guide on how to set up a school recycling system, but it takes more than words to turn environmental ideas into earth-saving actions. It takes a team, a green team. We set up the green team to enhance our recycling efforts, both with food waste and paper and other recycling that we can do around our school. What you might think is trash is actually a treasure. Arr! We separate out recyclables, like paper, bottles, and cans from Mickey stuff, like used napkins, ABC gum, you know, already been chewed, and candy wrappers. We make it simple to stow your stuff. The recyclables containers are different colors from the trash. Blue for paper, green for bottles and cans, and gray or black for garbage. And we make it convenient for you. We put containers in all the places where you might have stuff to throw away. And everywhere you find a trash container, there's a recycling container too. Where's that? Glad you asked. You'll find the recycling containers in hallways, classrooms, offices, event areas, and cafeterias. Once you learn all that, it's simple to keep going because we make it consistent. The containers and labels are the same throughout the building. So what goes in the recycling? Notebook paper, old classroom handouts, office paper, cardboard boxes, newspapers, magazines, pop cans, plastic bottles from pop, juice, and water. Remember to empty bottles and cans first and remove the bottle caps. In case you forget, remember to check those labels on the side that have words and pictures of what goes in each container. What goes in the trash? Plastic bags, yogurt cups, wrappers, paper towels, and napkins. And remember, when in doubt, throw it out. We all play a part in making the recycling program a success. Students get to do what's called service learning. That means they help by bringing the recycling from the classroom to the collection centers in the hallway. Custodians collect the material. There's good reason for keeping paper separate from bottles and cans. We keep it separated, the paper from the liquids, the liquids being the bottles and cans in the green container. We have to put a bag in that one for liquids to be caught so they're not left behind to make the trash can stink. It all goes back to the pickup area where it's put in the appropriate container. Then the trucks come. A trash truck empties the dumpster, and a recycling truck picks up the recyclables. And, and from, from there, they go to the icy blackness of space! Remember when we talked about trash going away? This is that away place, a landfill. Trash comes here and is piled up, smushed down, and then covered up. Or your trash may go to a processing facility where it's turned into fuel for an electricity generating plant. Each year there's more garbage because each year there are more people living in the Twin Cities and we keep making trash. The good news is that about 40% of our waste is recycled. Recyclables from the school are tipped at a materials recovery facility, or MRF, where they are separated from each other and each type of material is compacted and bound together in a bale that gets shipped off to manufacturers to be made into new things. I'm Tom Trosky, Recycling Manager at Rock 10 here in St. Paul. All right, this is the scale everybody that comes in with scrap paper will come across. We're in the unloading yard now looking at different piles of scrap paper, a pile of corrugated, a pile of residential paper. You're looking at the forming devices, on the paper machine where this cleaned up fiber is being spread out over a moving screen. And now you're gonna look at paper making its way over the dryer stacks where we have to dry the paper out. You're now looking at a large roll of it coming off the dryer stacks which is getting ready to send to our customer. Eventually, that paper and other recyclables end up in all sorts of products that we use every day. Notebooks, notepads, post-it notes, cereal boxes, copy paper, aluminum cans, newspapers, paper towels, and toilet paper. And the cool part? Many of these can be recycled again. 
Okay, maybe not the toilet paper. Did you know that trees give off oxygen? You know, the stuff we breathe. Some people like to give trees a thank you hug. I just give them a fist bump. It used to be that to make paper, we had to cut down trees. That bothers me. Environmental stewardship means protecting our resources. Recycling saves resources because we don't have to cut down as many trees and use lots of water and energy to make paper. And what makes it even better? Recycling saves money. The school has to pay taxes and extra charges for all the stuff that goes into this trash dumpster. But recycling, that's exempt from taxes and charges. Fill her up. With our garbage pickup, we've decreased that from five days a week to three days a week to help save us money. We increased our recycling to one extra dump a week because of the sorting and the separating and, and everybody realizing what can and can't be recycled. It sure did decrease our trash. Hey. Hey. I bet you didn't know that we recycle food too. What? Yep, our food waste is turned into treats for pigs. If this were magic, our food waste would disappear. Instead, you separate food waste from the other stuff. That's right, you don't need to pig out. These guys will. No need to go hog wild. If you don't want it, don't take it. If you bring cold lunch, tell mom. No Brussels sprouts, please. Then we recycle by putting food waste into barrels so that unwanted stuff becomes swine supper. Pigs love to pig out on school food waste and it's easy to separate your unfinished sandwich from the unwanted trash. When you first start, adults and other students will be there to help you learn how to sort trash from food waste using these food waste sorting stations. It's so easy to learn, you don't have to be smarter than a fifth grader to figure out what goes in the pig barrel. Chicken sandwich. Milk. Yes! All sorts of uneaten food or stuff you didn't drink go into the food waste barrel. Remember, if you can eat it, Pigs can eat it. Pigs also like things such as banana peels, apple cores, melon rinds, and orange peels. From here, a janitor wheels the barrel to the loading dock. Then the farmer wheels the barrel to his truck. He empties them, cleans them out, and then returns the barrels. Your school food waste is cooked in the truck and then served up to hungry pigs. And these porkers didn't even have to call to order this takeout. Hello? <laughs> These things go in the trash. Styrofoam trays, ketchup and mustard packets, plastic silverware, popsicle sticks, napkins, plastic packaging, drink boxes, milk cartons, and your bottles and cans go in the recycling. When you're done sorting food waste from trash, it's time for the three S's. Save space by stacking. By stacking the trays, we can fit an entire day's worth of trays into one garbage bag. No more lifting heavy, wet, messy bags of cafeteria garbage. We're not lifting heavy food and, and, and liquids from the lunch program into the dumpster anymore. And we only have one bag of styrofoam trays per lunchtime instead of just dumping them into the dumpster. And it would just take up a lot of space. We take up very little space now by stacking them. That means the custodian has to make fewer trips to the dumpster. We save dumpster space, which means fewer trips for the garbage truck. This program has been a back saver and a money saver. We can all work together to be good environmental stewards by recycling. It's easy to recycle when you use these simple guidelines. Make it simple, make it convenient, remind everyone what to recycle and where to recycle. Make it consistent and when in doubt, throw it out. And we can recycle more than bottles, cans, and paper. We can turn food we didn't eat into a feast that lets these guys pig out. And that makes us all feel good. As a school, I think it's been a great program for us to have. It's gotten um, our staff on board. They've been very excited about doing the recycling and feeling like they're making a difference. Our students feel like they're making a difference too. I think it's a simple and easy program to get started and to be able to do. And any school and any district could take it on and make it work.